The Pathophysiology of Non-Small Cell Lung Cancer Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the Western world. Non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC, accounts for approximately 85% of all lung cancers and is divided into three subtypes, adenocarcinoma, or AC, squamous cell carcinoma, or SCC, and large cell carcinoma. The different types of NSCLC develop in different locations of the lungs. Adenocarcinomas develop in the peripheral portions of the lungs in alveolar type 2 cells. Squamous cell carcinomas develop near the center of the lungs in mucociliary epithelial cells. And large cell carcinomas may occur in either location with squamous and glandular features. Risk factors associated with NSCLC include smoking, secondhand smoke, occupational carcinogens, and diet nutrition. Smoking remains the leading and most preventable cause of lung cancer, accounting for 80 to 90 percent of cases. According to current views on the carcinogenesis of NSCLC, the transformation of a normal lung cell to malignant carcinoma requires the accumulation of multiple genetic and epigenetic alterations. It is believed that early alterations are caused from point mutations or chromosomal deletions that inactivate tumor suppressor genes, or TSGs. A TSG loss that is thought to occur in 80% of NSCLC cases is that of P53. P53 is a transcription factor for various downstream targets that are involved in cell progression, DNA repair, and regulation of apoptosis. Mutations to p53 hinder its normal tumor suppressing capabilities. Thus, DNA damage remains unchecked, faulty cells proceed through the cell cycle, and apoptosis is evaded. This creates a genetic condition in which the cell is more susceptible to further mutations. Another critical alteration that occurs in the development of NSCLC is the activation of oncogenes. In 50 to 90 percent of NSCLC cases, the epithelial growth factor receptor, or EGFR oncogene, is upregulated. The binding of EGF activates signaling cascades that modulate the transcription of genes important in cell proliferation and resistance to apoptosis. In the majority of lung cancers, the activation of telomerase, a telomere lengthening enzyme, is detected. Telomeres are hexameric nucleotide repeats that protect the ends of chromosomes from unraveling, analogous to shoelace tips. Telomeres shorten with each cell division, limiting cell proliferation. By extending the telomere, telomerase contributes to prolonged cell survival. In order for premalignant cells to progress towards malignancy, cells must be able to escape programmed cell death. Additionally, in order to sustain growth and metastasize, tumor cells require an adequate blood supply and consequently promote angiogenesis. Tumor cells promote angiogenesis by producing vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. VEGF binds to VEGF receptors on endothelial cells, inducing the formation of new blood vessels from pre-existing vasculature. This vasculature sustains tumor growth. The accumulation of these and other genetic and epigenetic alterations may randomly occur throughout the genome and eventually lead to NSCLC. As NSCLC advances, the tumor may spread to other areas of the lung and to other organs.